All sewing machines, no matter what make or brand, share the same basic components, and I'm going to show them to you. These are the components of a sewing machine that has a lot of options. It has a spool pin, thread guides, a tension regulator, pressure regulator, a presser foot, feed dogs, a bobbin and bobbin case, a stitch regulator, the hand wheel, a bobbin winding assembly, and a foot pedal. These are the components of a very basic sewing machine. The spool pin, thread guides, a tension regulator, the presser foot, feed dogs, the bobbin and bobbin case, the hand wheel, a bobbin winding mechanism, and a foot pedal. Stitching with a sewing machine is a little different from hand stitching because a sewing machine requires a spool of thread on the top as well as a bobbin of thread that comes from underneath. And the stitches are formed, instead of just going over and under your fabric, the stitches are formed by those two threads traveling next to each other and then with each stitch the two threads twist around each other. And so you get this intertwining two threads in order to form your stitches. So one of the first things to do when you go to thread your sewing machine is to actually thread your bobbin. And every sewing machine will have bobbins that are specific to that sewing machine. So be sure that you get the right bobbin because bobbins come a lot of different sizes and an incorrect bobbin will not allow you to sew properly. So the first thing to wind a bobbin is I'll put my spool of thread onto the spool pin. Every machine will be a little bit different but you'll have a series of steps to take to hold the thread tension relatively tight while the bobbin is threaded so that it, it threads evenly and then you'll thread the bobbin itself. My bobbin has a little hole that I go through in order to attach the thread and get it started. And then I have this little pin that my bobbin fits onto. I release the hand crank on the side, the hand wheel, and then I put my foot on the pedal and I start to push and that begins the process of winding my bobbin. I'm going to continue to hold on to this thread tail just until there's enough thread on my bobbin that it's held in place. Usually I cut that off. There it is. I'll cut it off so it's not sticking out. And then I can continue to wind the bobbin. And if you are sewing something that will require a lot of thread, you can wind your bobbin all the way. If you're just doing a small project, you might just need a little bit of thread on your bobbin. So we'll just wind for a while. And you can see the thread is actually coming off of my spool. It's going through my thread guide, around the tension lever, and then just right onto the bobbin. And the bobbin is threading very evenly. The thread sort of moves up and down to get a nice evenly threaded bobbin. When the bobbin is completely full, it will release from this guide and will stop twisting. There we go. And so now I can't thread anymore on my bobbin. Now I know the bobbin is completely filled. So I can release it, cut the thread, and now I'm ready to thread the machine and then thread the bobbin itself. Once we've wound the bobbin, it's time to go ahead and thread the machine. I'm going to push my hand crank wheel back in so that the machine will work properly. And then we can start out once again from the spool pin. And then every machine will have a slightly different method of threading, but the newer machines have numbered guides on them that will show you through. Otherwise, refer to your manual and that will really explain to you what each step of the process is. We start out generally with a thread guide, which is what that is up there. And then I'm going to follow this first groove down. I'll go around the bend. And then there's a little lever here that needs to be all the way up. I go through the lever and right back down that same groove that I just came up. And then we start the actual threading process. There will be a little thread guide down by your needle. Some machines have a little needle threader attached for you, which you can certainly make use of. Otherwise, you can just lead the needle, the thread through the needle, usually from the front to the back, although a few machines go from the side instead. So again, refer to 
your user's guide just to be sure you've got it right. And once you've gone through the needle, you'll just go underneath your presser foot or right through the presser foot and lead your thread to the back. When it comes to bobbins, there are two basic types of machines. There's a top-loading bobbin and a front-loading bobbin. This is a top-loading bobbin machine. And you can tell because when I remove the case, the bobbin is sitting right at the face of the machine. And with a top-loading bobbin, you simply drop the bobbin in. So it's extremely easy to do. I'm just going to put the bobbin right into the case there. And then there's a little groove that the thread goes underneath and it comes around to the side. Now, before I put the cover back on, what I like to do is grab that thread from the top of the machine, and with my crank wheel, I'll bring it down towards me one time. The needle takes one stitch, essentially, and you can see that the bobbin thread has now made a little loop that's coming right up from the foot plate there. I'm now going to, this is a little shortcut that I use, I'm going to take two portions of the thread. I'm just going to grab the thread in two different places and I'll sweep right underneath that presser foot and that pulls the bobbin thread out of the bottom of the machine so it's coming out. Now I can put the cover back on and I'm all ready to sew. This is a front-loading machine and the difference between the two is with a front-loading machine we actually access the bobbin case from the front of the machine. And with a front-loading machine, you, instead of just dropping the bobbin in, we need to remove the bobbin case from the machine in order to thread it. So we drop the bobbin into the case, then it goes in between the levers and around the thread guide, and then we can drop the bobbin case right back into the machine, like that. And there we go. And then we'll do the same thing that we did with the top loading machine. Grab hold of the top thread, bring the, the wheel once around so we make a stitch and we have that little loop of thread from the bobbin. And then again, I will sweep the loop with my top thread to bring the bobbin thread up through the foot plate on the, the top of the machine. Then we can close it up and we're ready to stitch.